outside, or are you just about hitting somebody with a different jersey on? Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. You know, we've been going at it since January. So just the fact that like, we're actually here, it's just, I'm so excited. I'm just ready to go, especially playing in Atlanta, too, like where I'm from. Like, I'm just lost for words. Just I'm just ready for the, for just that opening kickoff and just ready to take the field. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited, though. Have you been to Mercedes-Benz before? I have. I played there. My first ever time playing there was my sophomore year of high school and my first game ever starting in high school, sophomore year. So yeah, I play there sophomore year, junior year. So this will be my next time, or my, or this will be the next time that I'm going there. Start to have lots of uh, friends and family oh, yeah. in the stands. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot for sure. Barrett, how's this linebacking group grown since the spring and the summer, moving into fall camp, and what are you looking forward to most about this group going into spring day? Yeah, it, we've grown a lot. You know, we've grown um, obviously physically because like we're attacking the day every day, but just like. We're, it's just a brotherhood, honestly. Like we, we hold each other accountable. We push each other, and like we don't, like we always compete with each other every single day. So I'm excited to go out there and compete with these guys. You know, they push me to be the best version of myself. I push them in any way that I can. So just, I'm excited to attack the field with them. I'm excited to make plays with them. I think it slowed down for me a lot because, like, as a freshman, especially, like, as a summer enrollee, you know, the bullets are flying, like, ASAP. So the fact that, you know, I have a year under under my under my belt now, I it's, it's slowed down so much for me. I've really taken the time in the film room just to really process and understand everything. So yeah, I'm really starting to learn the logistics of the game and just the game inside out. So it slowed down a lot for me for sure. Yeah, it, it's it's much simpler, I would say. You know, Coach V, an amazing coach, amazing guy. But um, Wes, he's throwing in his own you know flavor into our defense. So I think he really wanted to simplify it, not just for the older the older guys, but like the younger guys who are coming in, because it could be overwhelming for sure. So I think that's something that he like he really emphasized when he came in, when he took the job, just to slow everything down and. You know, it's actually helped a lot, and you really like understand the defense. You get to pick it up much faster too. Is it sort of like a, an like an opportunity for you guys? Like he, he put it, I think really well. Like paint by number, you know, get, rather than paint by number, you now get to like paint the picture yourself a little bit. Because um, you say slow it down, but mm -hmm. in that you guys are obviously able to play a lot quicker as well. Just where have you noticed some of those like tangible differences, like? From going from those meeting rooms and from that playbook out onto the field, where have you seen the biggest adjustment or growth maybe? I think it's like when the offense starts moving really fast, that could cause you to maybe get overwhelmed and like stress out kind of. So now like we're kind of just more chill and like nonchalant about it. And just like we know that, you know, we've gone over this in the meeting. So the fact that, you know, Wes is really taking the time to slow everything down, it makes you just not take all the stress out of the – out of football and just really just focus on, you know, what the formation is or, you know, just things like that. But just, you know, it takes all the thinking out of the game for sure. Would love your take on the offense. You mentioned when they start moving really fast and doing some different stuff. How have you seen them progress from last year to this year in terms of just how you guys have had to go up against each other? Yeah, like our offense, you know, even last year, like they were – I was a freshman, so it was tough for me, but like – you know, having more experience now, like, I really starting to understand more offenses and, like, what they come out in. But, like, you know, we have we have some dudes on offense. And, like, I'm talking about, like, every single position you look at, it's just a dude there. So, I'm like, you have to be on your A game every single play. And, like, they throw so much different stuff at us. And, like, it makes you really, like, tone in and, like, have to lock in on what they're doing. So, you know, they, they really make it challenging for us as a defense. And... You know, they're, they're, they're causing us to be better. They're going to help us be better throughout the whole season. You guys have your hands full. You have plenty to do on Saturday oh, on yeah. the defensive side of the For ball. Sure. But it has to, like, lend to some excitement to know where the offense is and the direction they're moving and the confidence they have. 
because it sure makes your job a lot easier yeah. and a lot more fun. <laughs> now, what's it kind of been like in, in the locker room at practice as you guys build towards this and you're seeing the product of their hard work? Yeah, I think just the camaraderie on that side of the ball has grown a lot. You know, I think the chemistry has grown as well. I think they're just really starting to come together and like really feel each other out and really get to know each other. Um, so I think it should be exciting what they do. But, you know, like being on the defense side of the ball and getting to see that is awesome to see. You know, I'm excited to see like what they do this year. I'm excited to see what they do in, the, in this first game too. We've heard from a lot of the older guys throughout camp that there's was this sense of like everybody knew what we were supposed to do, but we weren't doing it. As a freshman last year, what was it like coming in? And I'm sure you were like, man, this isn't what I thought yeah. Clemson football was going to be. This is even harder than they told me. What was that experience like for you? And how have you seen and really felt a change um, just in how maybe some of those upperclassmen are addressing things and, and how those conversations went over the offseason? Yeah, I think it just really, as a whole team, it made us appreciate how hard it is to actually win a game. You know, like you people always talk about, you know, this conference is it, like no, like it's it's hard to win a football game. It, it really is. So I think we all just um, appreciate how hard it is to win a game, and we that's like something we preach throughout the whole se off season. Like it's tough, and we have to do the tough th we have to do the tough things in order to succeed. So that was just like the main message this off season. Like things are gonna get hard. Everything like we're gonna face adversity, but we're gonna have to overcome it. And, like and you know, it either shines you up or grinds you up. And last year, all the adversity that we went through, it definitely helped us, and it's going to carry over to this year. And we're going to build off that, and we're going to, you know, strive to be the national champions this year. As a yeah. linebacker, do you uh, do you enjoy going against a quarterback who can really run? I do. It's a challenge, but you know, nothing. I, I, I like the challenge. You know, it, it's fun. Uh, you have to be on your A game. So yeah, I definitely enjoy going against a dual threat quarterback. The type of thing you always have to be spying him. You know, oh yeah. Break down in case he takes off. Yeah, you can't you can't lose focus of the quarterback, especially one that can run. You know, especially one that we're about to play. He's he's a dynamic guy, very athletic. So we gotta we gotta make sure we never lose sight of him because you know he might slip out. So we gotta make sure we stay on top of him. Barrett, the fans here have kind of gotten used to the <coughs> years guys like Skalski and Spectre making a ton of plays. What are they gonna see out of this linebacking group? Uh, when you guys hit the field? I mean, they're going to see a lot of speed, a lot of versatility, um, athleticism, and a lot of plays being made. You know, a lot of sacks, interceptions. I mean, knock on wood, but like, but no, you're going to see a lot of athleticism and speed for sure. But like, our whole group is, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of athleticism, though. There are several positions on defense that are co starters or guys. Really that close at some of those spots? Or how much does this week mean? And then going forward, that close? Yeah, I don't think anyone. I know no matter what the like depth chart says, I don't think anyone's just a you know 100% starter. You know, we all got to go out there every play like it's our last play, and no matter what. So all the co-starters, I think everyone has a fair shot. Um, I don't think anyone has the upper hand on anybody. I think we're just going out there and make plays. If our name gets called, if our number gets called, we just got to go out there and ball. So, you know, with all the co-star and all that, we, you know, we're not worried about that. We're just worried about playing games, playing, making plays. Barrett, obviously Wade grabbed the two keys. Where would you say that he is compared to where you were at as a freshman? And has he made a lot of stride in a short amount of time? I would say Wade, he, he's definitely – where I was, maybe even above where I was. You know, Wade, he came in and he picked everything up so fast. And he's such a smart kid and he's always asking me questions. And, you know, when you have a young guy who's doing that, you know, that's rare. Because, like, some young guys, they'll come in and they'll be like Tim and they won't ask questions. You know, Wade doesn't hesitate, you know. I've seen a lot of growth from him from day one to where we are now. So, he, I'm proud of Wade, you know. I'm glad that he's here. But now he's he's made enormous strides since he's since he's been first gotten here, for sure. You have any friends or old rivals that play for Tech? Uh, I do. My old, oh, obviously Paul Teal. Um, right, right. And then Tyson. Tyson, yeah. I have a kid who went to my high school. He plays D tackle there. Probably have to get a picture with him after the game. But yeah, we're gonna be. We've been talking a lot of a lot of smack since like since he committed there because I knew that that was our first game. Yeah. So. He's a, his name is Jamin Rochelle. He's a freshman. 
No, no, we've been talking smack for like for like months now. So I'm I'm excited to play against him. <laughs> it should be fun. How is it for you, you know, starting your season off against uh, in conference rival as opposed to like when you got other schools, even A C C starting off against smaller schools like App State and stuff like that? You know, how is it for you to really kick start a campaign as you did? Yeah, I think it's I think it's a statement game, you know. Uh, you know, we treat every opponent the same, but, you know, to start off against uh, an ACC opponent, opponent that we face every year usually, uh, it should be exciting. So I'm excited to see the bullets start flying against them. Um, I'm excited to make plays against them, but definitely excited to, you know, play against Georgia Tech for sure. Chris Westbrook was a pretty laid back guy, it seems like, but Justin Haskell is saying he will get in you guys if you make a mistake. For sure. How would you compare the intensity level of Coach B but Chewing? I would say Coach V, that's kind of just how he is. But, like, Wes kind of, like, you could say he builds up to it. Like, if you keep messing something up, if you keep messing something up, he's going to he's gonna unleash that side of him. But, like, that's not just initially who he is. But, you know, Coach V, that's just, that's just Coach V. <laughs> yeah. So, I noticed he called Venable Coach V, Coach Conn, Coach Easton, Wes is Wes. Well, how did that come about? <laughs> you know, we called – one day we called him, like – Coach West, he was like, "Nah, just call me West." So I'm like, "I, I don't, I, I, I'm, I've been, I've been raised well. Like, I, I can't, I can't just do that. Like, I gotta, I gotta find a nickname for him. Like, I think like Coach Dove, because like his name starts with a W. Maybe that Coach Dove. But I gotta find something like a nickname for him. How does that speak to like who he is though, and who he is in terms of like inside these walls? Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I think that's just like how big he is on relationships. Like, he doesn't. Want, he just wants to be known as like I guess like one of the guys you could say, so I think that speaks huge on just how he wants to be seen around here, just how much of a relationship guy that he is. He says he tells jokes. Does he have good jokes? He said they were good. <laughs> he wanted to share an example. Are yeah. they good? They are good, and like they're very unexpected too. Like he'll just like we'll just be in like the meeting room. He'll just say something like it'll, everyone will just start laughing just because like it's so random, but like. I can't, I can't disclose it. What happens in the meeting room stays there. <laughs> but no, like, they're, they're funny. I, I won't lie. They are very funny. Any questions for Barrett from Zoom? Anybody else in the room? All right. Thanks, Thank Barrett.